Hi there and welcome back. Our let's play of Europa Universalist 4 with Muscovy, the legend of Third Rome. And uh, we're looking at development in this in this episode and we're looking at <laughs> our rebels, our Novgorodian separatists that we want to uh, stop somehow. And for that we are looking at the Oprichina that we will be able to use next month. And um, what is the Oprichina? It is, um, if I'm, I hope I'm uh, saying that right, the Oprichina is uh, the Russian word for something like except and apart. And it is, it was a policy in, in, uh, introduced by Ivan the Terrible. It was like the foundation of a state police. So we would have a secret police of like thousands of officers really with a goal to suppress rebels, rebel factions and like um, dissidents from the line of our administration. And of course it, it cannot be, yeah, uh, we cannot support dissidents here. That is, that is really clear. And so we'll definitely try to, to use the Oprichina on these Novgorodian separatists because like they are they want to support our historical rival. That cannot be done. So we have to send the Oprichina to them um, as soon as we can. So, oh, more more is coming. Yeah. Now I wanted to talk about about the development and the 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 things we face there uh, to include the Renaissance into our country. But because you, as you see here, the Renaissance tech penalty is very high, and we want to avoid that. So, times of need. The dynasty of our noble Grand Knias, Rurikovich, is certainly a powerful one. Through Vasily II, Temne, they rule our nation and will do so for many years to come. However, even the great are sometimes in need of help. Thankfully, the Rurikovich family has tied strong bonds to other great powers, such as the Rurikovich house led by no other than Ivan, Knias of Odoyev. Now, if you look at Odoyev and its great power, you will look here. <laughs> His gracious wife, Svetlana, is a daughter of our own royal house and an invaluable contact. Perhaps we shall ask her if she can influence her husband to lend us a hand. Our coffers are getting worryingly light. Yeah, that is definitely the case, but... We do need some help managing our administration. Send a letter to Quinn's asking her for money. We could ask her for administrative aid. For a general? We don't need any help from Odoyev or House Rurikovich. Hmm. Friends in need? Do we need administrative help? No, that would... No, he wouldn't say that. He's like the administrative expert. At least he feels like that, Vasily the, the second. But he has some need of money. So our coffers are getting worryingly light, is what we wanted to do in this thing, because we always had trouble here. And it's not going to get much better. And what we need to do here uh, to invite the Renaissance to us is to develop a lot of countries to at least 10. That's when Renaissance can start. So we'll need to find a way to get more patriarch authority. Or maybe we need to do this seeking the support thing. Mm. Make a generous donation? No. We could gain five patriarch authority like that. They would gain influence and gain loyalty. And then we would have the problem of their influence. 
I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Other thing is we need to somehow wait for the Patriarch Authority to happen. So who we want to embrace would probably be the Christ of Pen but it is only 10 development cost. Maybe institution embracement cost would be would be the better thing to have. So I think we'll not do this. We don't want to give the church further influence. We're not that desperate for, for something here. We might just um, we might just use our edict that we have see that we have in the state of Moscow we have another two provinces that could um, definitely use the the Renaissance so ah let's go back come on hey where was the real oh back yes there we should try to embrace the renaissance soon but like the others here they haven't even started and that's because we need at least 10 development to at least start something there to start the spread and we want to do that so we'll go for an edict Where is it again? Come on. Encourage development. Local development cost goes down for a bit. And then we'll develop, of course. We don't want to use our diplomatic power. We need that to increase our technology at the moment. So we'll go for some manpower. and administrative power and here yeah administrative power is the thing right we'll make them better at administration so we have at least Moscow now on the way to Renaissance <laughs> As you can see, the spread has started. The important thing is that this clock is ticking. <laughs> At least a bit. And it's especially important in our uh, capital state, so to say, because yeah, that, that influence is like a lot. Or at least I understand it that way. Now we have that edict again. Um, going to no edict will need one year but now declining power of the boyars as both influential landowners and the traditional warrior class in our state the boyars have not fared well lately through a combination of excessive infighting and poorly coordinated power place the boyars have lost influence in moscow and have many have retired to their properties in the countryside which is good for us Land theft tolerated, yes. So that is run out, that is good for us. Was an, uh, an event giving our governor a lot of power compared to the clergy. Now we have a Russian ability here. Ah, uh, Oprichina, come on. Plus four each year. Yeah, we'll have to wait a little bit still. Then we can use it and decrease the, that rebel faction finally. Clergy seize power of the papal state. That is something that doesn't interest us. Helping hand. Finally, we have heard back from dearest Svetlana regarding our request for her husband. The most noble Niaz Ivan has decided to grant it. The reply returned with coffers of gold to fill our emptying treasury. Letter of thanks shall be sent immediately to the generous Kniaz Ivan. Long may he reign. We always knew we had a friend in Odoyev. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're gaining 10 ducats. Well, 10 is more than nothing, so... Um, we could definitely do something with that, and, and we'll, we'll probably found um, 
a temple in yeah honoring honoring Odoyev we'll found the church here I think that that might be a good idea greater monthly income in Moscow also be a good idea and yeah of course if this is going to become um, second Constantinople we need a church there there we go my god we need money <laughs> we need money thank you Odoyev Austria have re embraced the Renaissance they're quick to do that very quick so that is the the Odoyev temple and annexing Pskov. oh my god come on we need that diplomatic tech to control our subjects a little bit better we, we direly need it and we have a shared interest now what is that no secret that both Grand Knias Vasily II Temny and the Queen Maria have a way with words and thus with people. Well, he has one diplomacy, but <laughs> they can both make a stranger feel perfectly at ease in their presence, somehow always manage to be the one making the closing argument in a discussion, although perhaps not entirely equal in charm and using different personal strengths, strengths they have grown to enjoy attending social events together, often seen smiling smugly at one another from a distance. What is for certain is that the Grand Principality is better off since their union. Those two make a great match. Oh, nice. Have we gained one, one diplomacy? No. <laughs> Doesn't go that far, but we have gained a lot of diplomatic power, which is very good in itself. So we can now go for a marketplace. And even better... <laughs> Our subjects don't laugh as hard at us anymore. <laughs> Liberty desire goes down, which was one of the main motivations from a gameplay standpoint. These rebel uprisings here. We have to send the Pritchina. <laughs> Yeah, we have definitely problems of our own here at, at the moment. Once we have annexed our vessel, we'll, we'll continue to, to look maybe for more allies or for something. Oh my god. The glory of our capital has long been neglected. We now have an opportunity to improve the city and make it a beacon of cultural pride. This may prove costly. There is an alternative solution. <laughs> no, we cannot spend money because we have no money. We'll use the military as workforce. 1,500 manpower isn't that hard. One base tax is really good. Very nice. Moskva. There we go. And I think now, I think we have uh, improved to start the Renaissance spread. So we'll see. Can we already close down the edict? Not yet again. In 1469, we can do that. Yeah, I want the minimum cost. <laughs> so we could develop other provinces here. Let's see, Kaluga, the, the Oka territory. The state of Vladimir, that could get something like that too. Let's see. We have a development of 8 here, and of 8, so we would need a little bit here. We'll go and encourage local development, definitely. Let's go to Yuryev, and uh, to, to Vladimir, I mean, to, to Yuryev, and develop that a bit. Just a bit, like some military power. Maybe some diplomatic power, some administrative power. There we go. It can start now. 
What other states do we have here? State of Sustal. That needs Starodub. Can we we can afford still some edict? We can encourage development again. For Twelve months, and we'll go for Starodub. And we'll improve the development. At eight now. At nine and at ten. I think this is very important to do this. So we don't get the whole increased tech cost thing all the time. See, the next would be the state of Jaroslavl. We have Pechetsk there and Mologa. Should encourage the development here. Can still afford it. <laughs> Consecrate a metropolitan. That would give us five patriarch authority. But the state maintenance would go up. So, ah, uh, in view of our money problems we're not doing that oh now oh again now i've spent too much here in years level let's see we need to go to behetsk where is that that's here that is very underdeveloped i mean wow What else would we develop? Mologa? Mologa. That would be quicker. Where we rest here. Mologa. That's also Muscovit. Primary culture. Should probably go there first. Develop that a bit. Even a bit more. Maybe a bit of military power. Oh my god, the Livonian order have insulted us. What the? Now we're at 10 in Mologa. Let's see, we can now stop the edict in Moskva. Or in Moskov. May the Renaissance spread. I mean, that's how it goes, right? In Rostov, we have no way to influence that. That can be stopped soon. Ah, our development is so bad. <laughs> we should try to find a way after that. Uh, the development here in Yaroslavl. We should maybe stop that a bit. Livonian order. Diplomatic insult. Yes, that is running out. That is okay. We don't care about their diplomatic insult. Could now go for an advancement effort. Institution spread. That's a little bit too much, though. We don't have the money for it. <laughs> but the development is certainly very useful and helpful and needed. There are no rebel factions. Look at that. The Novgorodian separatists have gone down by a lot now. So we don't even need to send the Oprichina. Ah, that is, that is very good. We can only have eight states. Oh. Increasing government rank, advancing administrative technology, and completing the administrative ideas group. Oh, yes. I think we have to... We have to increase the government rank. However that is done. <laughs> Let's see. I think there was something about strength on the government. Yeah, we could do that. 
Ah, okay. Current government rank is duchy. Oh my god. <laughs> Russian principality government cannot change its rank. Oh. A golden era. The, in the Ottomans have the golden era. This will give them the following bonuses for 50 years. What? Moral of armies, of navies, poor power costs goes down, goods produced, and maximum absolutism. Wow. I think we have to save up again. A bit after we have developed Bezetsk to 10. Oh, that was the goal, right? To have at least some kind of developed um, area here. At 8. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, this is going badly. <laughs> A little bit is really, really going badly. Ah, uh, let's see. What can we do now? Can the estates do something? Can the estates help us? Can the boyars help us? Call a diet. Call a, a general ship. Oh, yes, that that is something we we want to keep for. Hmm. Military power. Recruit minister. Oh, not really. The the clergy. The support of the clergy we could seek would be okay, but the influence kind of shrugs me down. We're at 50. Ooh, the loyalty. <laughs> Going down to 30, that is kind of not good. Hmm. The Cossacks? No, not really. No, we'll not use the estates right now. Look at that, our, our liberty desire has gone down by a lot. We're still improving with below zero. It's helping us big. Let's see, now here we should have the possibility to end this edict now. We have developed except Rostov, but that's okay. Maintenance goes down. Now we we'll, can look at Sustal. We have developed there as well. We can set that to no edict and bam. We're gaining some money again. Yaroslavl is the last one. Oh, great statesman Michal Ruykovich of Belozero has died and our royal marriage with them has ended. They want a new one and we say yes. Yeah, we want to look at Bezetsk. the military power and the administrative one let's see we're at nine now and we're at ten very nice so renaissance can spread here as well we might be able to change culture later for now we'll end the edict in Yaros level There we go. Integrating Prishkov. Now, integration is a slow process, but we have we have made the mission. Prishkov ha accepted our irresti irresistible proposal of annexation, and they are now part of our glorious nation. Five prestige. Foreign contacts. Our diplomatic <laughs> reputation is not all that bad, thankfully. When a smaller country gives up its independence to join a greater realm, there is a lot of adapting, and while some parts are easy, the administration of the realm will still need to expand to accommodate all possibilities. So the rep reputation is now minus three for now. For all subjects, others. Um, now, what could we do now? Accumulate money would be something our, as he thinks, administrator would definitely do. The rival of our rival. Poland's opinion, I don't know. Conquer Novgorod is still a little bit big, that mission. Maybe we should accumulate money. That would also make, make a lot of sins. And Poland, that is still so far away from us. I don't think we, we 
we think much, so much about Poland, also we're diplomats, like accumulate money would be the thing to do. A wise prince ought to observe some such rules and never in peaceful times stand idle, but increase his resources with industry in such a way that they may be available to him in adversity. So if fortune chances, may find him prepared to resist her blows. That that looks like something that could be a quote from Machiavelli, if you ask me. That, that sounds wise and um, also like a warning. <laughs> like a really big warning. So let's see. Hmm, our neighbor bonus. Not ahead of time. Yes, the neighbor bonus. Neighbor bonus. We should work on basic financial instruments and standardized pikes soonish. And we could maybe, now that we have made some development. <laughs> it still looks terrible here, right? I mean, compared to this, it's absolutely terrible, but okay. I mean, we have a great city that, that spawns the Renaissance, so to say, and that is okay. So, let's see. Still a while before we can embrace it. And then it will help a lot. What be the, would be the next mission? Probably integrate another vessel. Like we're at below zero. Can we annex them? Yeah, we can annex them. How long will that be? Three per month. I think that's something we have to look at. Maybe it would be good to... to to go for Rostov first, or to go for Perm even. But they should have um, a better opinion first, so... We'll have to look around. Maybe... Um, maybe we'll really start to integrate below zero, even if that is risky. Because later on... Yeah, I mean, the liberty desire is a little bit controlled by all our power, at least. And then, what should we do? We should probably offer an alliance to Riazan. We have to look at that. Riazan would be a great ally to have. So there's a lot of decisions to take, probably at the start of the next episode. Thank you for watching. Join us on the ride through the Age of Discovery again. And thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. The, the, <laughs> the Russian. The Russians love you. I hope. No. But our Russia, our Muscovy loves you. See you in the next episode.